Welcome to Chasing M2S Operation Tutorial Video. The packing box includes Chasing M2S ROV, Remote Controller, Power Cord and 3-in-1 Charger, GoPro Mounting Base, Screws, EPP Storage Box, Chasing Reel, Support Documents, O-Rings, Towel, Motors, Data Cables, Sunshade, Flat Wrench, First, use the 3 meter cable to connect the reel and remote controller and tighten the nut. Then connect the buoyancy tether to the ROV and tighten the nut. Hook the buckle at the head of the tether to the tail of the ROV and tighten it. The ROV connection is complete. Turn on the remote controller power button to start the remote controller and ROV. After triple self-test sounds, the indicator on the controller lights up and 5-year 2.4G light is on. RO startup is successful. Before continuing, please scan on-screen QR code or visit App Store to download Chasing Go One app. We include three cables in the packing box. Please choose the appropriate cable according to your mobile phone model. Please connect the cable to the remote controller and the other end with a phone icon to your mobile phone. You can also choose to connect wirelessly. Please go to Wi-Fi setting and tap the network whose name starts with Chasing. The default password is 1 to 8 in sequence. Open Chasing Go One app. Start button lights up. You have successfully connected the drone and the mobile phone. Before entering the water, please go to Settings ROV Calibration. Click on Accelerometer Calibration Compass, Calibration, Depth Calibration and Level Calibration in order. Follow the on-screen prompts to calibrate the ROV. After calibration is complete, restart the ROV. Once the ROV enters the water, please press the button on the right side of the straightener to take down the buoyancy tether for better unspooling deployment. When unspooling the tether, press the button on the right side of the straightener, open the cover, and place the buoyancy tether inside the cover. Install the handle on the side of the reel and rotate the handle to spool the tether. Press the unlock button on the remote controller to unlock the remote motor and enjoy the best intelligent control. Pull the right joystick back to make the ROV descend. Push the right joystick forward to make the ROV ascent. Push the right joystick to the left to make the ROV move left laterally. Push the right joystick to the right to make the ROV move right laterally. Push the left joystick forward to make the ROV move forward horizontally. Pull the left joystick back to make the ROV move backward horizontally. Push the left joystick to the left to make the ROV rotate left. Push the left joystick to the right to make the ROV rotate right. The top left thumb wheel controls the pitch angle of the ROV. The top right thumb wheel controls the roll of the ROV. If you do not know the posture of the ROV, underwater press 1 key reset button to bring ROV back to horizontal posture long. Press 1 key reset button to activate the omnidirectional mode. Press light button to turn on LED low light mode. Press again to switch to high light mode. Short press the left shoulder button to take photos. Long press the button to record videos. When connecting by Wi-Fi, press Wi-Fi. Switch button to switch between different frequency bands to avoid signal interference. Use HDMI wire to connect a screen and the remote controller to cater to your needs on external screen viewing. Click picture button to take photos. Click mode switching button to switch to video recording. Photos and videos taken are saved in media. You can edit, delete and share them in the media section. You can also choose to download them your mobile phone.
we will release firmware from time to time in to bring you a better use experience. Please connect to the available network and download the firmware. After the download is complete, click Upload. After the upload is complete, the ROV will automatically restart to complete the firmware upgrade. Plug in the connecting cable to the 4 pin interface at the bottom of the ROV and tighten the nut. Then use 4 screws to fasten the accessory onto row. Open the accessory dock located at the bottom right of the app. The app will automatically recognize the accessories. Once the accessories are activated, you can start using them. Use the thumb wheel on the top right of the remote control to control the opening and closing of the grabber arm. The ROV remote control indicates it. Low battery. Please use a 3-in-1 adapter to connect the buoyancy tether interface on ROV and remote controller for charging. Alternatively, you can disassemble the battery and charge it separately. The red light on the adapter indicates that it is charging, and the green light indicates that charging is complete. You can also choose to charge all three devices simultaneously. The recorded footage are saved in the inserted micro SD card. Unscrew the seal cover and gently press the micro SD card to remove it. After use, please insert the SD card back into the slot and tighten the screw nut. The chasing M2S supports battery replacement. First pull up and rotate the locking knobs on both sides of the body 90 degrees to the shallow slot. Then push aside the switch while pulling the lock assembly upwards and hold the chute. Pull the lower sides of the pressure plate and deform the pressure plate until the buckle come off the rear bracket. Pull the battery compartment slowly and pull it out. Place the body with the front facing downward and insert the battery compartment along the body's grooves. Press down hard until there are no gaps. Pull up the locking knobs on both sides of the body and rotate them 90 degrees to the deep slot. Pull the lower sides of the pressure plate and deform the pressure plate. Fasten the buckle on the rear bracket. Press down the locking assembly hard until you hear a click sound. Then you have complete the battery replacement. Chasing M2S comes with two additional motors. If the original motor is damaged, you can replace it yourself. Before replacing, please make sure to know the type of the damaged motor and use the same type of new motor for replacement. First, remove the battery compartment. Then disconnect the cables near the old motor. Loosen the three screws around the old motor. Remove the old motor. Install the new motor in the corresponding position and tighten the three screws around it. Reconnect the cables to complete the motor. Rid placement. If you need to perform a self-check on the ROV, connect it and open the menu in the top right corner. Click on self-check and then check now to initiate the self-check process. If the ROV is used in water with high salinity or high sediment content, please submerge the ROV in fresh water. After completing the connection, open the menu in the top right corner. Select Help, go to Machine Maintenance, and click on to Maintain to initiate the process. That's a wrap on Chasing Imtus tutorial video. Hope you have a great time using it.